Welcome back guys. My name is Daniel and you are watching Triple R Farms. Uh, this morning it is Monday the January 25th and we are going to move the bulldozer. Um, we're going to move it back to the valley. Got some more of those concrete poles to pull up with it. And then we're lining up to do a lot of dirt work, putting culverts in and stuff. So we're going to get this baby back to the valley. And they are predicting a lot of rain coming at some point today. Pretty strong thunderstorms. So, I don't know how much we're going to get done, but we're going to get after it and we'll see what we can do. I'm not even going to attempt to try to do any tillage work uh, today before it rains because as you can see right here, we are still wet. So, no tillage probably this week at all, but we'll find something to do. Here's the pipe. Uh, it came in. We got it. Well, we went and got it. Anyway, got it over here, and that's the wetland we're going to drain. I don't know if you saw the last video, but that's the storm drain pipe. And um, i got to take the dozer now, and I'm going to cut through those pines and make a path, because that's where the pipe's going to run. So, first of all, we got to unload the dozer, which is Josh is just arriving. If I really can push it over here, pull that hack beer, I'd rather leave the pines. I may push this old thing over. This is rotten. Push that tree? Yeah, that tree over too. What about the dirt? Leave the dirt alone? Um, the track doesn't move all that. Yeah. This is where I saw that copperhead. Watch out, that's where that copperhead was.
Okay, and here's where I cleaned it out. This is where the pipe's going, where the yellow flags are. I uh, didn't smooth out the dirt too great because I'm going to come in here and dig it with a track hoe. And that's where it's going, down in that ditch. The underground pipe all the way through here. That part's done. Well, we may be uh, tying another ditch into this main ditch that we're going to, going to dig. So we got the transit. Go ahead and get it back out and take some readings and uh, see if we can tie this other ditch into the main ditch and uh, get it to drain even more. So we'll get the transit set up and then we're going to take some readings. And this is kind of where our main ditch is going to tie in. We had it come from that tree and then come from that wetland. And somewhere about where dad is is a low spot that needs to be drained too so we're going to see if we got enough fall to go in there to those pine trees it's a it's another ditch in there we can tie them all together that'll just get get a lot more water a lot more water off the land <laughs> that is the ditch we're tying into is going to go as I knock these trees out still a little snaky down in here how do you make this go down you got to go up and hit the button right there when it goes beep gone out there to get the reading turn it the other way it's not facing you had it backwards Never going to get a reading like that. Six four. Six four. you pull up a corner post with an old 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 dozer next okay it is lunchtime boy that wind is blowing starting to 
gonna get cloudy. Feels like the rain is about to move in. Got a new hat on today. How you like that, Johnny? Just got done with lunch, and now I'm back over here in the valley. And I think Dad is wanting to take down that fence. Right there. Scratch that. Uh, Dad wanted to go down here to this other fence that they're taking up. So um, that is what we're doing. So I probably will get some video of this because we're having to pull up little bitty trees that have grown up on the fence they're gonna pull those up first two more concrete poles we got to pull up and then we got to start taking the wire down so uh let's get some video of this that'll be pretty good these are the trees growing up on the fence we're gonna take this wire down right here but to get it down it's easier to go ahead and pull these trees up get them out of the way so you can get the wire off easier and roll it up Tractor came off the ground. Woo. And now it is time to roll wire. Which is very, very fun if you had never done it. Um, okay. I'm going to start over here, roll back this way. Now, I, I, if that doesn't get your heart pumping right there with just excitement and adrenaline, I don't know what will. And if you're ever having a bad day at work and it's boring or you get bored for some reason, you just need a, just a rush of adrenaline, go find you a barbed wire fence, cut the wire off of it, and start rolling it. And tell me how you feel after that because it is amazing. <laughs> Uh. Guys, the barbed wire is starting to stack up. We've made it from behind my truck all the way down there where Dad is. You can see him in the background. Uh, it's been a beautiful day today. Surprisingly, it has not rained. We've had a couple of uh, clouds come over. I thought it was going to rain, but mostly... Um, mostly just a lot of wind and I guarantee it's over 70 degrees right now but uh beautiful weather for uh for January 25th feels good to work outside but um just kidding around about the bob wires has to be done um every day on the farm is not just this awesome day where you remember and be like whoo that was a great day no, it's 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 the day-to-day -day stuff that has to get done and it's not going to get done unless you get out there and do it so um, i was just glad to get out here and enjoy this weather but we will keep moving on we got to make it down to that corner we're going to cut across 
and then that is just about going to wrap up the fence taken down uh, then we got a lot of we called off the track hoe we're going to do it next week uh, with all the rain coming so we're just getting prepared for it but anyway love being out here today good day he almost got stuck couldn't make it to the other side he had to back up Guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I would greatly appreciate it. And we will see y'all on the next video. I'm out.